South Korea is offering the first high-level talks with North Korea in more than two years. The overnight offer comes in response to a New Year's speech by North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. He said he's considering sending a delegation to next month's Winter Olympics in South Korea. In the same speech, Kim made new threats against the U.S., saying, quote, the entire United States is within range of our nuclear weapons. Major Garrett is at the White House with the challenge confronting President Trump. Major, good morning. Good morning. President Trump returned here from Florida Monday, facing more hot rhetoric from North Korea and a burst of anti-government demonstrations in Iran. There is no clear path to resolve the former or capitalize on the latter. President Trump's arrival after dark Monday at the White House came as North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un marked the new year with more nuclear threats. Kim claimed to have a nuclear button on his desk and warned that all of the U.S. mainland is within striking distance. We'll see. We'll see. The president reacted cautiously at his New Year's Eve bash at Mar-a-Lago, telling guests adversaries should take notice. We have some pretty good enemies out there, but step by step, they're being defeated. There's some bad people. Bad people. But that's okay. Someday, maybe they'll love us. I don't know. If we blink, God help us all. On Face the Nation, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham warned 2018 could be a year of, quote, extreme danger. 2018 is going to be the year to deny North Korea the capability to hit the homeland. Sanctions will never work completely without the threat of mi credible military force. In Iran, violent protests calling for political change entered their fifth day. The president reacted on Twitter, writing, Iran is failing at every level and claiming the Iranian people are repressed and hungry for food and for freedom. Graham says the administration needs to develop a clearer strategy on Iran. You just can't tweet here. You have to lay out a plan. The president must decide later this month whether to reimpose economic sanctions on Iran that were lifted in 2015 as part of the Iran nuclear deal. Biana? Big decision for the president. Major, thank you.